So how fast is a golden eagle? When they dive, we, we normally see them flying or soaring and they seem slow because they're large. But when you actually see one dive or chase, you realize how much faster they are. So on a dive, they can go uh, at top speed is about 110 miles an hour. Picture dropping a bowling ball out of an airplane. Now in level flight, they go about 60 or 70 miles an hour. Now they don't, when they're actually hunting, it may not seem that fast because they have big wings and the flaps are long. But when you really take note, you realize every flap they make is about the equivalence of five flaps for say a red-tailed hawk as far as the distance they cover. So they really are very fast when they are in a pursuit flight. Now I want to talk about, about comparing golden eagles to bald eagles. Golden eagles and bald eagles are not closely related at all. In fact, we should even give them different different family names. Normally, uh, golden eagles are considered to be true eagles, members of the aquila or true eagle family, and bald eagles are members of the sea eagle family, which came from an entirely different family line. Now, bald eagles are a bit more social. They'll they'll roost in large congregations. Golden eagles will not do that. Now, if you look at this picture, this may look like a bunch of bald and golden eagles. These are all bald eagles. Bald eagles start almost black or dark chocolate brown their first year, and over five years eventually get the white head and white tail. Uh, same thing, a lot of people might think this is a golden eagle chasing a bald eagle. It's not. It's an adult and a juvenile bald eagle. This one's about three or four years old. And that tail is what we call a salt and pepper tail. That's the closest uh, bald eagle tail will get to the uh, Native American headdresses we saw earlier, which again were actually one-year-old golden eagle tails. Now, golden e bald eagles have a long and lurpy neck. And if you see this bird's head stretched out, its head is not white as an adult. It's its head and its entire neck. But they poof the feathers out in a way that makes them look like they have a much larger head than they do. Bald eagles are specialists at being slow. They can travel fast, but their real gift is to be able to slow down over water and pluck a fish off the top of the water. Uh, they rarely dive. We like to think they do. Uh, another bird of prey, an osprey, is known for diving, but bald eagles will avoid any kind of a dive if they can. They're much better at plucking off the surface. So the secondary feathers on a bald eagle are much longer than that on a golden eagle. They will catch birds. This is pretty gutsy of a bald eagle going after a swan. I've seen pictures of them plucking small uh, blackbirds out of the air. So they can have agility like a golden eagle, but they prefer to hunt mostly fish. Let's compare the feet. This is golden eagle feet. The talons, especially the inner talons, are very long. The toes are long, and they're very knobby. They're very textured, which helps them get a good grip on their prey where bald eagle feet are much stumpier. The middle toe is long, but the other toes are short and the, the texture is, is not nearly as much uh, of, uh, of uh, texturized surfaces on, on the golden eagles. And again, bald eagles are wanting to catch a fish. So having short, strong toes is better than longer, longer skinnier toes. If we look at the beak, a bald eagle has a long, bald beak and having that beak longer keeps fish slime away from its face feathers similar to how a vulture has a bald head that uh, keeps that guts and nastiness off of its feathers because it's hard to clean off bald eagles have a bald uh, beak that's longer for the same reason now a golden eagle has a shorter thicker wider beak that is uh, better for sorry not not wider a shorter thicker a narrower beak that is good for cutting and breaking into bones and into a carcass and you can see some of the feathers actually do extend out to the nostril so it's not entirely bald as it is on the bald eagle and we can see the two side by side these two are both wearing hoods so that they won't well the golden eagle would try to attack the bald eagle in this instance so uh, you can see on the right the bald eagle has a short tail by comparison long secondary feathers and shorter primary feathers that help him slow down to catch fish. The golden eagle on the left has a longer tail, shorter secondaries and longer primaries. So a golden eagle is built for speed and maneuverability. A bald eagle is built for to be slow and to be able to power up after catching a fish. 
Now, I want to show you the legs as well as we wrap up here. <clears throat> this eagle just looks like a big fluffy watermelon, but I want you to see the outline underneath of the legs. You can see the, where the hip, the knee, and the heel are, and you just see these feet sticking out at the bottom. Now compare those lengths, which are quite long, to on a golden eagle. They're much longer. So golden eagles can stand taller compared to their bald eagle counterparts when they're scared and stretch out their legs. Normally both eagles adopt the posture you're seeing in these two photos, but when they're scared they can stretch their legs all the way out and can stand about four feet tall uh, and about three, three and a half in the case of a bald eagle. So. I hope you enjoyed hearing just a few of the basics about golden eagles here in uh, western United States. They're amazing creatures and they deserve our protection and our care. Uh, we, they have become almost mythological. If you get a chance to see one in person, please do because I think it's far more amazing to know them in person and actually understand that in addition to being a symbol of the wild, they're also living creatures that, that do need our protection. and 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 do deserve some of our reverence so thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll check out the rest of my videos